Oklahoma lawmakers have two more weeks to fund teacher pay raises to avoid statewide school district shutdowns. In Tulsa Public Schools alone, this involves about 42,000 students and 7,000 employees that will be out of school. Lawmakers are still jumping through hoops trying to figure out how to fund the raises. If they can't, come April 2nd, many schools across Oklahoma will be empty. Now, teachers are not the only ones preparing for potential walkout on April 2nd. Many community groups are also getting ready to step up if the schools do shut down. Two Works U anchor Will Dupree shows us the resources that several churches plan to make available to students. So many students rely on their schools for their meals, but obviously that will not be an option if the schools shut down. That's where the current church here in Collinsville and many others in this area are planning to extend a helping hand to keep the kids fed. Easter is on the way April 1st. In addition to getting ready for Easter Sunday services, Senior Pastor Ray Crawford is preparing for another big undertaking. His church plans to open up its kitchen should the teacher walkout happen so that students can have the meals they would usually be able to get at school. We, uh, we support what the, what the teachers stand for and uh, in fact about 165 teachers have volunteered to come and help us with this. And so that's really great. We're going to need their help. A group called Mercy Chefs is set to prepare about a thousand meals per day. We hope to find nine other churches to partner with us around the community so we can distribute the meals from here. In nearby Collinsville, Pastor Jim Carney with Current Church and the local ministerial alliance are going to do their part. They plan to serve breakfast and lunch from two schools that will close during the walkout. Don't know how many kids, don't know how long it's going to last, and so We've got a ton of community support that people just want to be involved. Two churches in Tulsa are also teaming up and offering shutdown Bible school to families that may need child care. The Fellowship Lutheran Church and Bethany Christian Church announced they plan to lead a day program for 100 students as long as the walkout should last. From Tulsa to Claremore, it's clear that these churches feel called to help. We care about the kids. Everybody cares about the kids, we hope. A lot of these volunteer programs will require a lot of help, so if you feel inclined, many of the churches here are now asking for people to come and help. Reporting from Collinsville, Will Dupree, Two Works For You.